My name is Michael Warren. I'm 38 years old from central Kansas, and this is my story. Growing up, I had somewhat of a normal childhood up till I was about 10, 11 years old. At 10, I was molested while we lived up in Iowa. I was also around 10 years old when I actually started realizing that my parents were addicts. Once we started traveling with the carnival about the same time, 11, 12, somewhere in there, I ended up getting introduced to pot, alcohol. Well, you know, it was normal out there on the carnival. And we did the carnival thing till my freshman year of high school. We came off the road. And being in small hit town, Kansas, I never was one of them that fit in with the in crowd. I was always considered to be the carny freak weirdo. So at 15, to get away from all the kids over summer break so I didn't have to deal with it, I'd go, I went back out on the carnival by myself. I started doing that summer vacations all until I was seven, you know, 16, 17. But at 16, I blew out my knee, and that's when my addiction with painkillers, alcohol, pot, meth, anything I could get my hands on actually became a major issue for me. After that, you know, after I got introduced to meth, everything went downhill. Now, 19, working for a carnival, due to my drug use, going to the bars, I ended up catching my first case. Unfortunately, it wasn't a drug charge. It was a sex case. My drug addiction had cost me years of my life, years in prison, and relationships with friends and family I loved. After 14 years and countless jobs... I ended up, well, living through the drug life. After that, November of 2021, my life, my life made a dramatic and drastic change. I lost my job. You know, I fell deeply back into shooting meth. Lots of hours at work, you know, putting in 120, 140 hours every two weeks. I ended up, well, like I said, I got fired. Well, January 1st of 2022 is when my life became totally unmanageable and I realized I truly had a problem. While cleaning out my garage one day, I ended up finding a point. I had a little bit of dope because I was playing around some here and there. And... I went out, I got my car stuck. I ended up firing a quarter gram shot, which I'd only, you know, done maybe little tidbits here and there with as far as shooting when I got back into it. And when I got out there into the country, got my car stuck, did the shot, no phone on me, negative five degrees outside. I decided and realized real quick that I was too high to just sit in my car. I started walking into town, which was about seven miles away. Well, through the seven miles, it ended up taking me 23 hours. I ended up with extreme frostbite. I'm an amputee of all four limbs. I've only got a half foot on each leg. I've got... On my hands, I've only got my first knuckles, and it's all due to my drug addiction. But, you know, yeah, I'm here talking about my, you know, my story, but the main thing I want to talk about is the recovery part. No matter what you've done in your life, no matter how you feel, it... It's never bad enough to it's never bad enough 
to just want to say fuck it all and end it. There are ways out of addiction. There's hope. There are support groups. There are many different avenues to recovery. AA, celebrate recovery, whatever it may be. No matter how you find recovery, what you do to receive recovery, recovery is the answer and what you need in your life. I've been through a lot, but nothing is as great as what I'm going through in my recovery. I found out I've got an 18-year-old daughter. I found out that even with the amputees and the trauma I've endured through my addiction, I can still have a good, happy, sober, and happy living in my life. You know, what it took me almost, what, 22 years to figure out that I couldn't live my life an unmanageable way anymore. Today, I'm sitting here seven months sober and can honestly accept accountability for all my actions. I strive every day to be better than I was yesterday and strive to end the addiction gene so that my daughter doesn't have to deal with the same type of life I did. So please remember there is hope and we do and can recover because tomorrow is never promised. All we have is today. The main thing I want to stress and can't stress enough is if you're struggling, please reach out. If you feel like you're going to relapse, reach out. None of us in recovery are ever perfect and we can't do it alone. There are plenty of places and people that strive to help the addict that wants help and doesn't know how to find it. Thank you.